Hello, my name is William Toady, a retired Navy captain, former commanding officer of USS Indianapolis, former chief executive officer of Spartan Corporation. I've written a book titled From CEO to CEO, a practical guide for transitioning from military to industry leadership. And I'm going to do a series of podcasts uh, describing the content of this book. Look, there's just way too much information to cover uh, in detail on these podcasts, but I thought doing one of these podcasts per chapter was a good way to introduce you to the subject material and hopefully convince you that there's value in reading it. And today I'm going to cover the introduction of the book. And one thing I want to say is that the foreword of my book was written by Annapolis classmate and friend, SEAL and Vice Admiral Robert Harward, United States Navy retired. He wrote a great forward for me. Very grateful to Bob for that. And let's get into the introduction. question that comes up already dozens of times is why did I write the book? I did it because I need to share all of these lessons that I've learned over the last 15 years in industry and for background. I served 26 years on active duty, seven deployments on submarines. I served as commanding officer of USS Indianapolis. I was commodore of submarine squadron three. I stood up a new organization called Fleet Anti-Submarine Warfare Command. It was big Navy anti-submarine warfare. And it was out of that job that I transitioned to industry. I did that in 2006. And when I transitioned to industry, I, I absolutely had no idea what I was doing. I tried my best to learn from the transition assistance programs. In those days, we called them TAP courses. And I took every course the Navy would offer. And just like everybody else in my class, I believed everything I was told. And first, let me emphasize this point. The United States needs a vigorous interchange between active duty and the industry that it supports. In fact, let me read for you the opening of the book. To the men and women who get it done in the fields, seas, and skies of battle, and to the industries and factories that support them. Both of those elements are important. It's really important to get a free exchange of information between active duty and industry. And I, and I say in the book, if we don't get that free exchange and if industry doesn't work right, our cavalry would still be riding horses and our Navy would be still sailing brigantines. It's really critical that industry leverage the best that active duty has to offer. And it's also critical that industry gives its best back to the military. And that interchange between active duty and industry is so critical, so important that we get this done. It's one of the great strengths of American security. General Eisenhower, when he was president, has this famous saying, perhaps the military industrial complex is to be feared. I understood in the 1950s why he might have said that, but honestly, in this decade, the military industrial complex is one of our strengths. It's one of the things that makes the United States so secure. And to keep that going, we need a free exchange between active duty and industry. That means industry needs you to transition well, to make those companies stronger. About 200,000 people transfer from the military active duty to industry each year. That's an incredible number. And in my personal experience, I've just seen too many of those people fail for reasons that didn't have to happen. They failed for entirely avoidable reasons. And those failures I keep seeing the same ones over and over and over again. Over the course of my 15 years in industry, I started out as a director of an advanced technology division for a major defense firm. I ended up as CEO of Spartan Corporation. So when I write my title of the book, From CEO to CEO, that's exactly the journey I've taken, from commanding officer to chief executive officer. And through all of those layers, I've seen folks transition very well, and I've seen folks transition not so well. And every time I took a note, and as I was ending my CEO career, I said to myself, you know, I have all of these lessons. I really do need to write them down because so many of them are avoidable. And that's what prompted me to write the book, to help folks avoid the mistakes that I've seen be made so many times in the past. 
Now these folks didn't make mistakes because they're just blindly going through their transition. In many cases, they made mistakes because that's the way they were taught to do it. And that's the great travesty. These transition assistance courses that the military give you when you're transitioning, those are generally conducted by contractors and the contractor is awarded to the lowest bidder. It is not the contractor's fault. I'm not beating up on contractors here. Let me say the transition assistance programs do a very good job at some things, like explaining to you veterans administration benefits that you're gonna be able to, to take part of when you are no longer on active duty. The physical, all of those things they give you are very good. Where they start to fail is when they try to tell you what industry is like. And the reason they do it is the folks that are teaching these courses, they haven't been there, they haven't done it, they haven't succeeded in industry. Frankly, if they had, they'd still be doing what it was that caused them to succeed in industry. They're teaching things that they're told to teach based on a lesson plan that somebody else provided them. And they simply don't know better. It becomes the blind leading the blind. It's not their fault. However, these same Mistakes are told over and over again, and I'll talk about some of those with future chapters. So the book covers all of those lessons, things like how to write resumes, how to interface with recruiters, how to apply for your job, how to, how to uh, what kind of job to look for, how to negotiate for your salary, and pretty much everything you're gonna need to take you through, let's say, the first five years in industry after you've transitioned from the military. Even things like how to make up for the things you're gonna lose when you leave active duty, like life insurance, compensation. In these transition classes, oftentimes they begin by asking you the wrong question. You might find that they ask you to think about what you wanna do after you transition. The right question is what kind of job you need to get you where you wanna be 10 to 15 years down the road. That's the right question. And those are the kinds of things I try to help you think about as you read the book. I decided that as I was approaching my retirement, I would write all these lessons down, the ones that I've accumulated over the past 15 years, and that's what the book is about. It's to help you avoid the mistakes that I've seen so many others make. Again, I can only touch upon the information I'm giving you in this book. Next time, I'm gonna go through a little bit of chapter one. And again, I hope it helps you understand what my book, From CEO to CEO, is all about. Thank you, and see you in chapter one.